The electric vehicle market is evolving faster than ever before. Across the globe, from Silicon Valley to Shenzhen, automakers are racing not just to build better EVs, but to reinvent how we power them altogether. One key truth has emerged, the future of electric vehicles isn't just about sleek designs, self-driving software, or charging networks. It's about batteries. And more specifically, about who can build the best battery, one that's safer, cheaper, faster to charge, and built for the masses. Right now, Tesla leads the global EV market, but even Tesla's success is threatened if it cannot overcome the limitations of today's most popular energy source, the lithium-ion battery. Lithium-ion batteries have been the gold standard in energy storage for more than a decade. They've powered everything from smartphones to satellites and, of course, nearly every electric vehicle on the road today. But as the EV industry grows, cracks are forming in lithium's foundation. Lithium is expensive. It's relatively rare. Mining it is energy-intensive and often environmentally harmful. And with demand for EVs exploding, the global lithium supply chain is becoming stretched thin. Experts predict a major shortage of battery-grade lithium by as early as 2025, and that looming supply crunch is already driving up costs across the industry. For Tesla to deliver on Elon Musk's long-standing goal of a $25,000 EV, or even cheaper in the long run, it needs a new solution. That solution might just be sodium-ion batteries, a once-overlooked technology now gaining serious momentum. At first glance, sodium-ion batteries might sound too good to be true, they're three times cheaper to produce than lithium-ion, can charge up to twice as fast, are up to 100 times safer under stress, and are made with materials that are abundant across the Earth's crust. And yet, despite all these potential advantages, most people still know little to nothing about them. So let's break it down and examine why sodium-ion batteries could be the most disruptive innovation in energy storage since the lithium-ion revolution itself and why Tesla may soon have no choice but to adopt them. At their core, sodium-ion batteries work very similarly to lithium-ion. Both types of batteries have a cathode and an anode, two electrodes, and between them is an electrolyte, which acts as a bridge for ions to flow through during charging and discharging cycles. But instead of using lithium atoms, the electrolyte in sodium ion batteries contains sodium, which is not only more environmentally benign but also vastly more available. In fact, sodium makes up about 2.6% of the Earth's crust. That's over 1,000 times more than lithium, which exists in more concentrated but limited deposits, mostly in politically volatile regions. From a cost perspective, sodium ion batteries have enormous potential. Not only is sodium cheaper, but the other materials used, like iron and manganese for the cathode, are much less expensive and more sustainable than the nickel and cobalt used in many lithium-ion designs. Industry leader CATL, which is also Tesla's largest battery partner, has already produced sodium-ion cells for under $70 per kilowatt-hour and aims to drop that below $40. That's a game-changing price point. For context, lithium iron phosphate batteries, currently the cheapest lithium based option, still hover around $90 per kilowatt hour. Reducing this cost further would unlock EVs priced not just at $25,000 but potentially below $10,000 in the coming years. But sodium ion batteries aren't just about price, they're about performance. Charging time has always been one of the biggest challenges for EV adoption. Nobody wants to wait 45 minutes to recharge when they're on a road trip or commuting home. That's where sodium ion really shines. In real-world tests, CATL sodium ion batteries have reached an 80% charge in just 15 minutes, and some experimental designs have managed it in as little as 5. In laboratory conditions, new prototypes have achieved full charging in seconds using advanced materials that mimic the properties of supercapacitors. That level of efficiency could redefine the EV ownership experience and eliminate one of the last barriers to mass adoption. Then there's safety, arguably the most critical concern for many consumers. Lithium-ion batteries, while generally safe, can catch fire under certain conditions. If punctured, overcharged, or exposed to extreme heat, they may explode or ignite. 
Sodium ion batteries, on the other hand, are practically fireproof. In tests involving punctures, drill penetration, and even open flames, sodium ion cells have not combusted. They're non flammable and have an extremely low risk of short circuiting. CATL has publicly demonstrated their batteries being compressed, nailed, and even set on fire without a single spark. That level of thermal and chemical stability could radically improve public trust in EVs. Cold weather performance is another critical area where sodium ion batteries beat lithium ion. Standard lithium ion cells begin to lose efficiency around 0 degrees Celsius and often require active heating systems to operate reliably in colder climates. Sodium ion batteries retain over 90% of their capacity at minus 20 degrees Celsius and can still charge and function at temperatures as low as minus 30 degrees Celsius. In practical terms, that means no more range anxiety in freezing temperatures and much better performance in regions like Canada, Scandinavia, or the northern U.S. Tesla owners in Minnesota or Norway would immediately benefit from this improvement. Let's also talk longevity. Most lithium-ion batteries last between 2,000 and 3,000 charge cycles, enough for 300,000 to 500,000 miles in a typical EV. But CATL sodium-ion batteries are rated for 10,000 cycles. That's nearly 5 million kilometers or 3 million miles. If accurate, this means sodium-powered EVs could last for 20 years or more without requiring a battery replacement. For comparison, most internal combustion cars barely make it to 200,000 miles. Sodium-ion batteries could usher in an era of ultra-long-life electric vehicles with minimal maintenance. So with all these benefits, why hasn't Tesla already switched? The answer lies in energy density. Simply put, sodium ions are larger and heavier than lithium ions. This makes it harder to pack them tightly into battery cells, which means lower energy density overall. Most current sodium ion batteries offer 140 to 160 WH slash kg, compared to 180 to 250 WH slash kg for lithium ion. Lower energy density means shorter driving range or a heavier battery pack to compensate. That's a trade-off Tesla isn't ready to accept for its longer range models just yet. But there's hope on the horizon. CATL is already working on second-generation sodium ion cells with a target of 200 WH slash kg nearly matching today's LFP lithium cells. They've also introduced hybrid battery systems that combine lithium and sodium cells in a single pack. This allows vehicles to draw on sodium's cold weather and fast charging strengths while relying on lithium for longer range. A smart battery management system coordinates the two chemistries in real time. If this works at scale, it could bridge the gap and allow Tesla to deploy sodium ion batteries in select models, especially compact and low-cost EVs. Globally, momentum around sodium-ion batteries is building fast. More than half of the research and patent activity in this space is now coming out of China. Europe and North America are accelerating their efforts too, with former Tesla engineers launching new startups focused entirely on this chemistry. Analysts project that the sodium-ion market will grow over 600% in the next 10 years, reaching 70 GWH of annual production by 2033. Because sodium-ion and lithium-ion batteries share many manufacturing processes, production lines can be adapted quickly reducing investment costs and time to market. So what does this mean for Tesla and the future of EVs? It means a cheaper, safer, and faster charging future is not just a possibility, it's coming. Tesla has a chance to once again lead a revolution by incorporating sodium-ion batteries into its next wave of vehicles. Whether it's the long-rumored $25,000 car or a compact city vehicle, sodium-ion could finally make electric vehicles truly affordable for the average person. More importantly, it could make EVs more sustainable, more accessible, and more reliable across all environments. In the end, the battle between sodium-ion and lithium-ion batteries isn't about one replacing the other. It's about giving manufacturers and consumers more options. Each technology has its strengths, and the future will likely include both. 
But with sodium ion batteries offering three undeniable advantages, low cost, rapid charging, and unparalleled safety, it's only a matter of time before they find their way into your garage. And maybe, just maybe, the EV you buy next won't run on lithium at all. If you found this deep dive helpful, consider subscribing for more updates on the tech reshaping the EV world. And now we want to hear from you, would you buy a Tesla powered by sodium ion batteries? What excites or concerns you most about this new technology? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Until next time, thanks for watching, and stay charged.